Kia ora whanau. How is everyone today? Great. Um, I just want to take a moment, if you could just please um, get composed, uh, just take a moment. Uh, I want to just thank all the people that um, departed, the people that are not here today. Um, it might be a relative, a close friend, a parent, or several. Uh, so just a moment of silence, please. Okay, thank you. Ko Mont Blanc te manga. Ko Lac Léman te roto. Ko French, uh, sorry, no French Alps a how. Ko Nikitin toku fano. I'm from Geneva. My name is James, and my lake is Lac Léman, and my mountain is Mont Blanc. Um, this is my team. <laughs> so that's my wife Sylvie and my son Maui. Maui is two. Uh, unfortunately, they're not here today, uh, but I'm sure they'll be here soon, and we will be soon here together. Um, I also have another a new name. Um, it's <laughs> Keriru. <laughs> so uh, with Pipiana and uh, Tamaha, we, we, we decided that. And this is what I do. Thank you. So how did I come about launching Manaya? Uh, just a few impo important facts to remember. I would like everyone to take a deep breath and exhale and take another one and exhale. OK. One out of those two breaths came from the ocean. Just try and remember that um, every day. Uh, just a few facts just to, to aggravate that. 90% of the world's fish stocks are gone. 1.5 billion people depend on fish uh, for their livelihoods. The ocean absorbs CO2 from climate change and stores 60% of the heat uh, around uh, the world. We know nothing about the ocean. We explored 5% of it, and we roughly estimate that 200,000 species were discovered, but actually there's 2 million out there. So that's just 10%, just uh, another fact. Uh, also, 7.44% uh, of the world's uh, oceans are protected. Uh, actually, fully protected is probably around 2%. You can notice on this slide, the high seas are largely unprotected. So there's a lot of work to be done there. So I came about doing this from diving on the Great Barrier Reef as a dive master and guide. And I wanted to take people diving, and I did. And then I realized that I could do more. So my story then took me back. Um, this is one of the reasons why uh, things are, uh, are going bad, is, is coral bleaching, which uh, destroys coral reefs. So I went back to Geneva, and I started talking to organizations uh, there, and I found that a lot of the things that they communicate, their science, their policy work, is ineffective. So uh, I resolved to, to work uh, with some of these organizations, these are our clients, uh, to communicate more effectively using video and films and conferences and events uh, where we communicate science and the policy. Uh, so we translate scientific reports, we condense them, we use the, the knowledge from um, protected area managers, we work with program managers, conservationists, to communicate that. Uh, we go on expeditions. This is the sort of uh, things that we do. We, we take reports, we go and screen them at conferences, um, and we, we go on expeditions. We accompany scientists in their work. This was in the Indian Ocean last year, uh, making a film about high seas, um, which then was taken to the UN. This is a new film we just completed in uh, Marquesas, defending a marine protected area uh, project there uh, with the local communities. And also recently, uh, the global standard for IUCN, 
which is basically what governments need to, to do to make marine protected areas more effective. Uh, recently, I was in a submarine discovering deep reefs because they also have perhaps some solutions to save the shallow reefs. Um, and some exciting things coming up, I think, and why New Zealand, is I think there's a global conversation taking place, for example, around the ocean literacy framework uh, and also around the upcoming uh, United Nations Decade for Ocean Science. I think New Zealand should take part in these uh, global conversations and can become a leader uh, in marine conservation. So, personally, I believe uh, I came here nine years ago and I never really left. Everything that I've done has been connected to my experience here working with Greenpeace, uh, going up to Matauri Bay on the Rainbow Warrior resting site. Um, and I feel that this spirit, as some others have pointed out, this spirit of Kati Akitangi, um, Kati Akitanga, sorry, uh, is the key to solve it, solving the world's problems um, and to saving the ocean. <coughs> and IUCN is already working on this. Um, and I was there when uh, indigenous peoples came at the last Marine Protected Area Congress, and they were the, the, the people on stage that were the most um, acclaimed, and I think it's a good sign. So what we're doing here goes in that direction, and I want to be part of that journey with you, so please get in touch. Thank you.